Hey everybody, this music means one thing. It means yes, Stardew Valley is coming to the channel. I hold this game near and dear to my heart, so I wanted to play it for you all. And what better time to play it than update 1.5. So basically what this video is gonna be, I'm gonna go into my year four save. It's a single player save. And I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit of the new content. I'm not going to put it all in one video. This video is already long, and I didn't want to make it any longer than it needed to be. So first up, the thing you're probably going to notice first is going to happen right when you go into town for the first time. You will see Mayor Lewis and Robin building a bulletin board. Now, this bulletin board functions exactly like the one on Pierre's shop. The only difference is these quests, if you will, are a little more long-term. One of the ones was three days for me, and the other one was 27 days. Now, the thing with this is the rewards will vary. The 27-day one is going to give me um, some money, but this bulletin board is how you're going to be able to get some of the new items. Um, there's a variety of new items in the game. We don't really know all the new items yet, but there are new items, and this is one way to earn them. There's a couple of other ways to earn them, which you'll see later on in the video, but this is one way, and I don't know how many different types of missions there are here and I'm excited to explore that. Now next up we are going to stick with some more Robin related content. So if you go into Robin shop you will see a community upgrade and house renovations. Now those are two new things. The house renovations is only available to you if you have completely upgraded your house. Now you'll see four options here to remove a crib, open the bedroom, add a southern room, and add a corner room. Now, these upgrades are actually free, so that's fantastic. There's no new buildings, at least that I had at the time of me in the shop. But, yeah, as far as I know, these renovations are free, and when you select them, you will be able to... It will give you an overview of your house, and you'll be able to make the upgrades. So here, I'm adding the southern room. It is a little confusing. You need to click on it when it is red, not green. I was having a bit of trouble with it here. But right there, it just pops open another room. And I go ahead, go do house renovations again, open the bedroom. You can finally get rid of this annoying wall. I'm so happy about that. Um, next up, I'm going to remove the crib. Kids don't need a crib. They grew up. They just sleep in the beds. And finally, we have the corner room, which is going to be connecting the two bedrooms together. And yeah, it gives you a lot more space if you want to decorate and stuff like that. Now, something interesting is the community upgrade. It is 300,000 gold. Um, personally, i um, not sure how worth it it is, but you guys can be the judge of that when we take a look at it. So here I'm just walking around the house. Um, one of the new features, as you can see, you can sit down in chairs and sofas. Um, it's just a bit more interactive. You can do more things in the world. You can sit down next to your friends. You can go sit at the dinner table, all that. So it's pretty cool. You just, you're just able to sit around. Now, all these were instant, as you saw. Now, the community upgrade isn't instant. It's something that Robin has to build, similar to other upgrades in the game. Now, after you buy the upgrade, next day, you can see Robin here. She's building something uh, near the road where the bus is. And I was a bit confused because I was walking around town just to see, like, maybe where Robin was building. And this is one of the last places I really expected her to be honestly is the tooltip when you're building the upgrade is that it is shortcuts around town maybe there is another uh, shortcut that she builds um, I haven't been able to find it yet but right there where she is building is where one of the shortcuts is and after I saw that I just went to sleep and we're gonna go check out the shortcut again I'm not quite sure honestly how useful it is because of where my horse is placed shout out to the matching hats with my horse by the way where my horse is placed um i can get to where the shortcut was rather quickly so honestly i don't think this shortcut anyways is going to be something i'm using very often um but you know there's a staircase there now now, one of the big things that people are probably going to want to see right there was a note from Willie that the back door of his shop is finally open. Now, this is exciting. This door has been 
locked for it ever since launch. That uh, mail from Willie showed up on my second day of playing the new update. So after you get that note, you just go to Willie's shop and he'll you have a little cutscene with Willie. Willie's apparently been hiding a little ship back here. Just a little dock area. You can see it's pretty beat up. Um, it was his father's boat that he had for 50 years and it's broken. So the whole point of this is this is how you get to the new island of the game. Um, as you can see there, Willie mentions that you need 200 hardwood, you need to get the ticket machine going, and the iridium anchor. And it says the Fern Islands is the island you're going to be going, the Volcanic Islands are strange parrots. You tell them you want to help, and you basically just need to go collect a ton of materials. Um, I happen to have um, a couple of the materials. One of them is a bit of a grind, that 200 hardwood. So to do this, you just need to donate 5 iridium bars on the anchor. This is 200 hardwood, which I did not have at the time. Five battery packs for the ticket machine. And basically, beyond that, you just need to grind for hardwood. Now, if you don't know how to grind for hardwood, in the forest, you can collect hardwood. And you can get 12 per day. So I basically just got 12 every single day. As you can see, there's a little bit of a time skip there. And you donate the 200 hardwood, and you're done. After that, the ship will be repaired overnight. You can see Robin and Willie are repairing the ship, and the next day you are able to go visit the ship and finally use it. So we're going to go ahead and hop in the ship. It is the next day. Now this functions exactly how the bus does. You have to use the ticket machine. It costs a thousand gold in this case to use the ship, and this will take you to the next island that is available in this update. You get a nice little cutscene here with Willie driving the ship. I don't know if this cutscene happens every time. Um, it's a it's a nice little nice little cutscene here. One thing intriguing to me is that island to the right is not actually the island you were going to. You were going down much further south to a volcano island. I have not played enough of the new update yet to determine if you can get to that other island. I presume you will. Another little thing there, you can see a little boat, a little sailboat underneath the cloud up there. Um, so I don't know if those are currently interactable, but I would presume that they are, and I just haven't gotten far enough in the new update. So here we are going to do some exploring of this island. So this is a volcanic island that has a ton of parrots, as you can see one flying on the screen there. Now, I'm just walking around the beach here. Um, the very first thing you are going to want to do on the right side here, you can see a small child on the tree right there. He makes a little parrot noise and runs off. So you cannot go left or up. Um, there are turtles blocking the way. This thing right here I'm trying to interact with is actually a perch for a parrot. Um, you can't do anything with that as of right now. If you go to the right, though, you will be able to chase down the kid. So we're in a little bit of a jungle area. Right there, that item is a golden walnut. I was trying my best to interact with the item. I was just trying to use various tools on it. Uh, pro tip, you do not need a tool to interact with it. You just need to hit A without a tool and you will grab the walnut, which I will be doing very shortly. So you go up here and there is a nice little tree house. And in the tree house, you will find the kid hiding from you at the top. Now, you can't really talk to the kid, but you can see the parrot there. The parrot wants a walnut. Um, you can't climb up the ladder or anything, so to basically start this interaction, you need to go back down and grab this walnut. And you're going to bring the walnut back to the parrot, the parrot's going to eat it, and you will be able to progress the story, if you will. So bring this golden walnut up here, and the parrot is going to go ahead and take it, give him the walnut. And there you go. Starts a little cutscene here where you start to walk up to the intrigued child. Now, one thing, this child is uh, a bit scared. He's a bit shy. And one thing there, you can see he's making parrot noises. He's mimicking the parrots. It seems like this kid maybe was born and raised on the island. Maybe he lost his parents. I'm not really sure. But your character determines that the best way to get close to the child is, of course, get close to the parrots. Now, 
you can see there the parrot says five encased in fire mountain gadgets. So if you're confused about the fire mountain gadgets, um, you're going to be walking back to the starting area and you will see a little fire enemy. Here I'm just messing around with different items, trying to see what the fire mountain is, but you can basically just ignore all these items here and you can just walk straight to the starting area, which you will see very shortly. Um, one thing though, the fire mountain gadgets, I have not currently solved what it's actually looking for. Um, we're going to see some gameplay, but basically the fire mountain is referring to the volcano, obviously. And the volcano is where a new dungeon of the game is. I do not currently know how many floors there are, but there it is a tough dungeon. So here, if you go back, you can see the turtle moved and you basically just need to chase this little fire thing around. There's another parrot perch over there, which presumably will have a parrot at some point. I think basically the whole goal of this is to basically keep bringing walnuts to parrots. Now here you can see a little tent. Uh, it has a bone on it. It seems to be an archeologist tent. There's nothing that I was able to interact with in here, but the whole point of this island, there's parrot perches everywhere. Like there you can see a parrot perch next to a bridge. The whole thing you're gonna be doing is bringing walnuts back to parrots. So right here is the entrance to the volcano. Um, there's nothing on the right side. If you go to the left though, you can see a hidden golden walnut. You cannot access it from here. You will be accessing it from a different area. Um, I haven't gotten to that top walnut, but the far left walnut, you will see how to access that very shortly. So when you walk into here, there is a like a mechanical pool of water and some lava. Now, my first instinct, of course, was to fish in this pool of water for some reason. I don't know why I thought something special would happen. You can't interact with the pool any other way. The pool is there so you can refill your watering can. That is it. If you try and catch stuff in here, it is just going to be trash. That is all these pools of water are here for, is just refilling water. So don't waste your time like I did. Just refuel the watering can and you will be able to progress. Now, what you're gonna be doing with the watering can is you're gonna be pouring it on the lava. As you can see, there's a little hint there. You can see water dropping on it like rocks and it's make, make it's hardening the lava. So I went over here to explore to see if there's anything to the right. There is nothing to the right. I can confirm that much. Um, there's nothing over there, nothing you can interact with, at least at the moment. However, if you go to the left, there is something you can interact with. It is a short little little dead end here where you can get a couple of golden walnuts. And you are going to be needing a lot of golden walnuts uh, for this island. Um, this is easy for me because I have the iridium watering can. If you don't have the iridium watering can, then it's going to take you a little longer to, you know, pour this water and here you can see one of the new slimes of the game so this slime is very bulky it's bulky kind of like the purple slimes and there it dropped a ginger root i have an inventory full of random stuff so this ginger root is basically an item that it serves as food i don't know if you can use it to cook but it is an item that is edible. So if you go down this pathway, there's two golden walnuts and there in the top left, it is keeping track of your currency. Luckily, the golden walnuts do not take up an inventory slot. So uh, that's fantastic. You don't have to worry about carrying them around. It is just being kept track of in the top left. And there you can see in my toolbar, I forgot to mention this earlier, there is a new seed called the mahogany seed. I got those mahogany seeds from uh, breaking the hardwood stumps in the forest if you plant those you'll grow mahogany trees which will drop hardwood so that is another way to get hardwood so here you can see a couple of new items being dropped um, you can see that bag of seeds and this little slime drops a tiny tiny little item it's kind of hard to see there you can see the little leaves um, i had to empty out my inventory i was struggling with the full inventory but it is a taro tuber um, i don't know what it, exactly is but you can plant it. it says you can plant it in warmer weather and it'll grow in 10 days now these seeds over here um, these are pineapple seeds so these pineapple seeds take two weeks to mature and they also have to be grown in warmer weather 
This guy, I'm not sure if you can kill him. I did not bother killing him because his stuff would just drop in the lava anyway, so I did not waste any time. And as you can see, as you go through this door, in the top left, it just says floor one. Now the fire guides are going to start aggroing on you, and they will drop a, another new item uh, called a cinder. Now this cinder, you can use, you can trade in this cinder um, on the fifth floor. On the fifth floor, I ran into a tradesman who wanted a hundred of these cinder shards for an item. And at the shop, you can basically see um, various new items and new recipes. Now, this dungeon is extremely difficult. I do not know how long it is, but right here is where we are going to call the video. Um, if you want to see more of this dungeon, if you want to see more of the new Stardew Valley content, uh, feel free to let me know. This is the first Stardew Valley video on my channel, and I hope to have many more on the channel. Um, this is just a tiny little look at the new update. Um, I plan on going through the entirety of this new dungeon and hopefully gathering a ton of golden walnuts along the way. If you like this video, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more Stardew Valley, and I'll see you guys next time.